Slicing example. First, we drag the model into the software and do not slice it directly, but also need to do some detailed processing of the model. Improve printing quality and printing efficiency by making these detailed adjustments. The following is an example of slicing a SpongeBob model. The slicing of the model is divided into six main steps, as follows. 1. Set up the model. 2. Import of the model. 3. Positioning of the model. 4. Support settings. 5. Setting of printing parameters. 6. Export G-code file. Open the software. 1. Set up the model. Click on the model selection bar add. Select the model to be printed. Click add. 2. Import of the model. Import the model into the software. First move the model to the corner of the printing platform to facilitate the explanation. 3. Positioning of the model. Model placement for most models, you only need to put the largest plane against the bottom. However, some models that require print details to be preserved require some adjustments. The following will explain some of the placement of this model set. Drag the body part into the center of the printing platform. By observation, this model is close to a rectangle overall, but there are some details on the surface. If you let the model lie flat and then slice it, you can see large stepped laminae on the surface of the model through the slice preview. This kind of layer pattern cannot be completely eliminated from the model printed by FDM. However, the layer pattern can be reduced by setting some slicing parameters. The first method is to modify the layer height of the print to make the model surface more detailed and the stepped laminae can also be divided into more layers. But the time required to print this way will increase exponentially. The second method is by changing the placement of the model. Let the model have details of the face as tilted as possible, preferably the face is placed vertically. This will print a model with fewer stepped layers and retain more detail. Reduce the horizontal placement of the model surface as much as possible when placing. Click the rotate function to rotate and tilt the model. Clicking on the slice preview again, you can see that the stepped layer pattern is effectively reduced. Also about the plate or disc type model. If placed horizontally, there will be a very obvious stepped lamination. Tilting the model to print can effectively eliminate stepped lamination. It should be noted that if the bottom support is too little, you need to manually add support to prevent the model too heavy and fall down. Select the arm model. By observing, the shape of the arm is V-shaped. Such models as this, the model will be placed vertically to retain more detail. When rotating, the model should not be placed in a 7 shape, but with the sharp corners facing down or up. The preview comparison shows a more detailed surface on the arm. Select the model of glasses. To preserve the surface detail, the mirror detail surface needs to be placed vertically. It is also important to increase the touch surface with the printing platform as much as possible. Select the model of hand. You can see that one hand is in an open shape and the other is in a half grip shape. Models like the palm of the hand generally require the fingers to be placed upwards. Try not to let such a small part of the finger in a suspended position. If the touch surface between the finger and the support is too small, the model may not be able to adhere, resulting in printing failure. Select the lower body model. You can see that the model of the legs presents the structure of the Mitsubishi cone, the same as the placement of the upper body model. As far as possible, the faces on the model are not parallel to the printing platform.
Select the foot model. By observing the model of the feet, the soles of the feet are relatively flat and the other faces are curved. In such models with a flat surface, it is best to fit the flat surface to the printing platform. This can increase the touch area with the platform, stick more firmly, and can save the material of printing support. As you can see by the slice preview, since the bottom face is not flat, you can see that the area of the first layer printed is very small, and there is no printing support elsewhere. This may cause the model to fall off during the printing process due to too little adhesion and large overhanging printing area. If there is no requirement for the size and appearance of the model, the cutting operation can be performed on the bottom side of the model. This way the bottom of the model is cut into a new plane, allowing the first layer to be printed with a larger area. If the size of the model is required, print the model at an angle. This can add support to the sole of the shoe and will not cause empty play. Model placement does not necessarily have to be as described above. With the accumulation of printing experience, we'll slowly develop a set of your own placement. For support settings, click on the support settings bar after the placement is complete. Preliminary settings for support addition first. Since the FDM print type is built up from material, the filament needs an upward support force when printing. So it is necessary to add support to the outside of the model to provide support. Observe the appearance of the model, if the model has an overhanging surface then you need to set up a support to hold up the surface. In the upper right corner of the support parameters, the minimum size of the support column can only be set to 3 mm. When the set number is less than 3 mm, the software will automatically restore to 3 mm. So the value set needs to be greater than or equal to 3. The maximum overhang angle determines whether the software recognizes the need to add support behind the face of the model. Support overhang angle is generally set at 60 degrees. Click on the automatic generation of support, the computer will automatically add support columns to the model. These support columns are the final form of the support. The support column represents the area covered by the support. Observe whether the support is added in place. If you need to edit the support, click on the option under Manual Support. Support columns can be added or removed manually. 5. Setting of Printing Parameters Click to return to the print configuration. The next step is to set the print configuration parameters. The parameter configuration list contains three default configuration options with different precision. You can choose different precision according to your needs. But the default configuration parameters are not always suitable for printing. At this point it is necessary to set the new parameter configuration according to your requirements. Click New Parameter Configuration to set the corresponding printer model, filament type and template name. Click Next to see a simplified parameter editing field. Click Advanced Settings to see more detailed parameter editing fields. Click on Expert Mode to bring up all the parameter editing options. The next section explains the main parameters that are often modified for general printing. Quality. The quality is mainly modified by the layer height, which is the height of the extruded filament when printing. 0.2 mm layer height is suitable for most models without much detail. And printing handicraft type models need to set smaller layer height because of more surface details. Recommended setting is 0.1 or 0.12 mm, here it is set to 0.12. Shell. The shell setting is the shell of the printed model, the larger the setting the tougher the model. But use more supplies and printing time. General modify the wall thickness and top layer thickness or bottom layer thickness. Set the value in units of nozzle aperture. General model setting at 1.2 or 1.4 mm. The larger the size of the printed model, the greater the wall thickness to be set. The top layer thickness or bottom layer thickness is recommended to be set at the same value as the wall thickness. 
Filling. Adding filling to the inner cavity of the model can make it more rigid. The general model filling mainly modifies the filling density and filling pattern. Set the fill density according to the usage of the printed model. Recommended for printing general model fill settings of 10% to 20%. Printed structural part models set at 40% to 50%. The fill pattern can be chosen by yourself, it is recommended to set to cubic. Material. Mainly set the relevant temperature and flow rate when printing. Different printing materials correspond to different printing temperatures and flow rates. When setting the parameters to configure the material type earlier, the software will automatically set the recommended temperature and flow rate according to the selected material, so there is no need to modify. Speed. Mainly set the movement speed of the printer, different printing speed will have different printing effect. Printing speed and printing quality are inversely proportional to each other. So it is not possible to blindly increase the printing speed to save time. It is recommended that the printing speed does not miss 80 mm per second. Move. Mainly modify the pumping speed and pumping distance. Retraction is when the nozzle moves to a non-printing area and draws the filament back a distance. This will prevent the model from drawing. Retraction setting parameters vary for different pumping structures. When selecting a model, the software will automatically set the corresponding pumping parameters according to the model. However, the pumping parameters of different brands of materials may vary. It is recommended to fine-tune when printing with drawing. The parameters to be adjusted are mainly the pumping back speed and pumping back distance. Each adjustment is recommended to be limited to 10%. Finally, the Z-axis is lifted and opened during the pullback. Cooling. Change the cooling effect of printing by adjusting the fan speed. This setting usually does not need to be changed, just use the default parameters. Support. Provide support to the upper overhanging surface of the model and open the generated support. The following describes the support setup parameters for printing general models. Tree supports are added around the perimeter of the model by means of irregular trunk-shaped supports. Easy to remove after printing, but the cost of printing goes up. Support placement selects all supports so that supports can be added to all overhanging surfaces on the model. The support overhang angle is the value determined by the software to identify the support addition surface. A typical printer can easily print a 60-degree bevel. So the support overhang angle is set within 60 degrees. Support pattern set jagged easier to remove. Support wall line is the number of laps printed on the periphery of the support to strengthen the role of the support. However, it will also increase the difficulty of removing the support, so generally set the number of supporting wall rows to zero. It is recommended to set to one if reinforcement support is needed. Support density is generally set between 10% and 15%. Support the density of a large area can be adjusted appropriately small. Enable support brim to reinforce the adhesion of the support to the printing platform. Support Z distance set to 2 times the height of the floor. If the setting is too small, it will cause the support to stick to the surface of the model and cannot be removed. Print Platform Attachment The printing results will be different depending on the type selected. Selecting Edge will print more along the outer edge of the model when printing the first layer. Increase the touch area between the model and the platform to prevent the model from curling up during the printing process. Select Lace or Skirt will print a circle of lace outside the model. You can observe the printing range of the model before you start printing it. It can also observe the thickness of the wreath in advance to determine whether the distance between the nozzle and the hot bed is appropriate. Make adjustments to the printer before starting to print the model. Selecting none for the attachment type will not add any printing, but will start printing the model directly. Select base or simple base, a base plate will be printed on the bottom of the model before printing it. Avoid the effects of uneven printing platforms and incorrect Z-axis offset. 
but the disadvantage is that it requires more filament and printing time. General choice of lace or skirt can be. The remaining parameters are generally rarely used. Move the mouse over the corresponding option will pop up the corresponding above, so it will not be explained. Click save when you are done with the settings. Click on the slice. Enter the preview screen and observe the slicing of the model. Check whether the models overlap and whether the placement and support additions are reasonable. After making sure the slice is OK, click Export. Naming the slice file. Since some machines can only recognize numbers and letters, so only use numbers and letters when naming and do not exceed 10 digits. Slice file in .g code format. Finally, copy the slice file into the memory card and start printing.